I'm Max Eddy for PCMag.com and this is What's New Now. Cast your mind back to somewhere between 2006 and 2009. Your iPod is connected to your computer and you're loading some music that you got from somewhere besides iTunes. When you try to sync the music to your iPod, you see an error message saying that you must perform a factory reset. After restarting, your non-iTunes tracks have vanished. This scenario is at the heart of an antitrust lawsuit against Apple that's currently going down in the courtroom. The plaintiffs in this class action suit claim that Apple used its dominant position in the market to build a monopoly and restrict competition from other digital music sellers. Plaintiffs are asking for $350 million in compensation, which the Wall Street Journal notes could triple under antitrust laws. According to Apple Insider, the company was responding to pressure from music labels to keep its digital rights management system secure from hackers. Interestingly, evidence presented in the case includes a tape deposition from deceased Apple CEO Steve Jobs, recorded in 2011. Most of us probably haven't thought about DRM on iPods since Apple dropped the restrictive practice in 2009, but it is ironic to see Apple being accused in U.S. courts of running a monopoly when the company made similar complaints against Microsoft in 2001. For more on law and technology, check out PCMag.com. That's what's new now, and I'm still Max Eddy.